The second topic is about the states of matter in terms of the molecular motion. And so just kind of a quick recap, matter exists in four phases. And you only need to know the first three. Don't worry about plasma. I mean, I don't think anybody at ATI has that kind of advanced knowledge about the plasma state. So we only need to know solid, liquid, and gas. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that molecules are in constant motion if it's above a certain temperature. Now, you don't need to memorize that temperature. That's a very you know, uh, advanced uh, information in physics. So that's either zero uh, in Kevin or minus 273 degrees in Celsius. So above that temperature, uh, even though you can't see, molecules are in constant motion. Now, when you look at the three different states in terms of molecular motion, in solid, molecules are packed in a very tight and orderly fashion. So in solid, uh, molecules have kind of limited motion, limited amount of movement compared to liquid and gas. And that's because liquid and gas are less packed, uh, less orderly, so um, molecules move more rapidly and they can be further apart from one another. And in the gas state, right, that's where molecules are furthest um, from each other. Now, um, if that's kind of hard to uh, remember, you can think about the shape and volume of different states of matter, right? Solid has a defined shape and you know, defined volume. Liquid is a bit less defined shape, but you can still measure the volume. And gas, it doesn't have a defined shape or volume, right? So um, as uh, matter transitions from solid to gas, again, um, molecules are less tightly packed. They're in the less orderly fashion. And that's because molecules move more rapidly and they spread further apart, right? Okay, so that brings the next point about the factors that can affect the transition um, between the different states of matter. So there are two key factors. The first one is a heat, um, also temperature, right? When you're at higher temperature, that means there's more heat available. And then the second is pressure. So when there's more heat available, that heat can um, allow molecules to overcome that bond, that intermolecular attraction. So I'm gonna write it here, intermolecular attraction. So keep in mind that this is not the chemical bond within the molecule, right? Whether it's ionic bond or covalent bond or hydrogen bond, we're talking about outside a molecule, like between the molecules. They usually have a little kind of attraction which keeps the molecules together. Okay. But when you increase the temperature, the heat can help molecules overcome that um, intermolecular attraction. So this helps molecules spread farther, right? Because there's a less force to keep them together, to hold them packed. So when there's more heat available, molecules can spread further apart. So this tells you that when you transition in this direction, right, from solid to gas from more packed to less packed, that's when you need increasing temperature or increasing heat, right? Because from solid to liquid to gas, molecules are less orderly, they spread further apart. So they need that heat to kind of help them spread further to kind of break that intermolecular attraction. Now, how about pressure? Pressure can help pack a molecules closer. Let's say if you push your hand, right, your, your, the, the uh, sensory cells in the skin can feel that pressure, right? So you can imagine with the pressure, it really kind of keeps the molecules closer. So increasing pressure has almost the opposite effect as increasing temperature. So more pressure uh, will pack molecules closer. So that means when you go from gas backwards to solid, that's when you need more pressure, right? To pack the um, molecules more tightly uh, to form that more defined shape and volume.
Okay, so increasing heat will move things from solid to gas. So that's temperature or heat. And increasing pressure will move matter in the opposite direction from gas to solid. All right, now let's look at a practice question. Okay, from solid to gas, that's from uh, more packed to less packed, right? There's also increasing distance between molecules. They spread farther. And how do they spread farther? They need a little bit of help, right? They need the increasing temperature, which really translates to increasing heat, right? To help them break that bond, um, break that intermolecular bond or attraction to move further away. So this is going to be increasing temperature. From gas to liquid, that's more orderly, right? More packed. So this requires more pressure, right? So you have that pressure to keep molecules closer and more packed. So that's increasing pressure. Okay, so that's a quick ref refresher of the transition of different states of matter. Uh, I hope this uh, video is helpful. And um, again, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment, especially when you have questions, and share the video if you can. Thank you for watching. See you next time.